All right, y'all, what's going on? I was having issues with my uh, Freightliner. I got a 2012 Freightliner Cascadia. The DD-13 in it. And uh, I haven't got it back running yet, but I uh, I was told my turbo was bad and my V-Pi was bad. And I, had, I took the turbo off, got that checked out. Turbo checked out fine. So now I'm checking... Um, my ETR. I've seen some videos on YouTube. Um, a lot of these be, be, be like super black with like rocks built up in the inside. Mine's pretty clean. But a how to on how to take this off. This is the sensor I just replaced too. This is the, uh, the Delta P sensor. And this was the IMAP sensor. Just three bolts, the uh, 13, 113 at the top, two at the bottom, and then another 10 millimeter. And that's, let me show you what I just did. Hold on. So that sensor is this. I don't know, at this moment, I don't know if it fit, if, if my problem is fixed yet. I was having like, loss of power issues so I don't know what then fixed it so I'm just going through everything I did or what's gonna fix it I'm going through everything I'm doing in this video so this is this sensor and this is this that sensor that sits on top of the EGR and uh yeah it was it was, it was quick and easy uh, total of four bolts. You know, that shit is pretty black, but that's probably normal. On these diesels. I don't see nothing out the ordinary. But, um, yes, other, other videos I've seen, they had like big boulders stuck in there from a buildup, but my buildup wasn't bad. So, this is what this, is what this looked like. how that shit up in there like I said I don't know what's going to fix the problem hopefully when everything go back together it's fixed but it's, it's going to be one of these three this, that sensor and I replaced uh, let me show y'all what else um, they was telling me I had a bad V-Pod so it kind of sucks that I'm not able to really say, okay, this fixed it, or them two sensors fixed it. But um, I, I, I replaced the V-Pod, or I'm replacing the V-Pod, taking the old fittings off, putting them on, taking the old fittings from here, putting them on there. And this little punk has bolt stripped out. Threads came with it, so I gotta take it back. I gotta take it back anyway to get my money for the core, and then I need a new bolt for this. And this bolts up right here. Once again, it's quick and easy also. Two bolts. These two bolts right here. Go into these two bolts right here. I just put them back in there so I won't lose it. And got one connector that go on the top. That's that connector. And it got an air hose that just fit that just you just push that in. And then that connects also to the uh, to your blow off. But yeah, man, I took this whole turbo off. They told me the turbo was bad. Got the turbo checked out. Turbo guy told me it was fine. No, it was, you know, the bearings wasn't bad. It wasn't throwing oil. So they quit. And they quit. The shop quoted me forty six hundred. Man, I almost was gonna give it to them, but I'm like, huh, let me probably could do that myself. Fuck. But the only issue I had this bolt in the back stripped out so I'm fighting with trying to get that out but other than that once that bolt come out I can bolt the turbo back up and take this thing up the street and see what it do yeah this is a backyard boogie ass mechanic this is a backyard you boogie know what he <laughs> 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 talking about the boots nigga. Yeah, talking about the boots. man nah, I ain't gonna worry this is this YouTube they ain't gonna get you on YouTube uh, but yeah I'm backyard boogieing it man doing it myself Jumped out the window on the truck 
definitely said that we tried, so we're gonna see. I'm, I'm feeling real good though in confidence. Once this turbo go back on, one of the three things I change is gonna be the issue. So to wrap up this video, I wind up getting everything back on and back together. And I uh, just drove the truck. Draw, drives a thousand percent better, man. So it was actually, my opinion, I think it was V-Pod. So if your truck is, you know, lacking power, you got to uh, have it to the floor to take off and, and stuff like that. Change your V-Pod for sure. Then I would go to the Delta P sensor, then the IMAP sensor. But yeah, for sure, that V-Pod definitely was it, in my opinion. No codes, no lights, running nice and strong. Whoa! Um, I can actually hear the turbo louder. It's spooling up, it's building boost, it's making power. It just, it just drives like a thousand percent better. So wrap up this video, 2012 Freightliner. Um, Cascadia DD13. Your shit is losing power. Go to that V pod. Signing out.